Hey guys, these things and welcome back to the One Piece Bounty Rush video. So in this video, we will be taking a look at the um, balance changes guys. So uh, if you guys don't know, there's this uh, readjustment uh, notice. So these characters will be buffed. So we will be taking a look at them. Okay, I I'm actually pretty excited because I was literally just playing uh, Bu Shanks the other day and uh, I would say it's kind of rough man. So hopefully uh, there's stuff that's going on uh, that will help him kind of, yeah. So okay, then I also see people like uh, Blackbeard, which is, I think, it'll be very nice. Like 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 his changes might be pretty good. Then there's a uh, wedding Sanji. Uh, I think Daphne deserves a buff. Then uh, Reiju, I don't know what like what kind of, um, like like how they choose the characters for buffing, but mm, interesting. But okay. Um, Monet. I think Monet is an interesting one because we don't really see that much of her being played. Then Frankie, okay, Frankie is used to be pretty beast. I think I think definitely he's still pretty usable at the moment. Then uh, Buffs obviously will welcome it. Then Mister Tree, um, he used to be. I think both of his shields had um, both of his skills had shields. Oh my god. <laughs> then uh, one is attack buff, one is like defense buff or something. So. Um, he's def definitely a def a pretty good support character. Like you can buff like your friends, etc. If they don't have any buff, but I don't think it stacks. That's the problem, right? Then, uh, actually maybe wait, maybe I'm trolling. Uh, can't remember whether if it stacks or not. So okay, let's just take a look at it. So, um, the first part of the buff is that normal attacks is easier to land. Okay, so Shanks, teach. Okay. Okay, so the thing about I think this is very nice, right? Because um, let's I think Shanks the normal attacks was a bit wonky. Like like when I was playing him, sometimes it don't seem to land. Yeah. Then for uh Blackbeard also, I guess it's a little bit weird also. Sometimes you think you have hit them, but not really. Then I think this affects because sometimes enemy will end up hitting you instead of you hitting them. Then uh, definitely Sanji and Reju. Um, if I'm not wrong, Reiju one is something like a roundhouse kick. Uh, Sanji is kind of like a charge. I can't remember, man. Yeah, but um, gotta be very nice, man. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, besides normal attacks, the skills are gonna be easier to land. Okay, 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 okay. Like, I I'm curious what is this because, um, like, huh, the skill one. Okay, I'm not too sure what they mean by easier to land, but the thing about skill two for Shanks was that. Um, it was a little bit slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, definitely looking forward to see what kind of stuff they're going to do with it. Then, uh, for Teach, let me think. Uh, skill 1, Skill 2, very nice. Skill 1, Skill 2 is also, and also cool buff reduction for Skill 2. Uh, that would be pretty nice because, okay, if you guys don't know, his Skill 2 is sick, man. Sick stuff. Like, um, against people that is non-powerful, Food user, your skill 2 is like, oh, mama mia. Then, yeah, then I love his skill 2. His skill 1 is also pretty good, but um, the, the fact that they make it easier to land, hopefully, they don't they do something to fix this the pulling one because sometimes you pull, enemy might be lagging a little bit, so you might miss the punch on them, which is kind of feels bad, right? Then, uh, next one will be Royal Wedding Sanji. Okay, skills easier to land. Okay, okay, Reiju. Uh, Skill 1, easier to land. Skill 2 has two steps. Wait, 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 wait. Skill attack. You can hit 3. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, I, I don't know. This kind of sus. Okay, wait, wait. Because the fact that they're adding another step. You generally... Wait, no, no. My bad. Wait, this Vin Smoke Reju... The skill 2, if I'm not wrong, is the one where she sprays out the... um The poison thing, right? And maximum three hits. Does it mean it's kind of like a low key nerf? I felt like you could have you could one shot people that last time, but now I don't know whether they just added the uh the the, the wording or not. But yeah, uh, I don't know about skill one being easier to land because uh the skill one is pretty much the the protection skill of sorts. Hopefully they do something to it. Then okay, Frankie. Okay, skill 2, if I'm not wrong, is the spinning one. So defense reduction 20%, uh, it's kind of like a nice, not that, yeah, it's pretty okay lah, huh? 
Um, okay, Mr. Tree, finally. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Attack reduction, 20%. Okay, not that bad. Mm, I'd rather if you go for something like, you know, um, buff cancellation or something. Like that would be so much better. Um, defense increased by 20%. Effect time for 20 Okay, this is pretty nice. Uh, I'll say at the moment for people like them, like, like, like Mr. Tree to be decent, you might want to increase it to 30% instead. Yeah, who knows, man. Then Monet, okay, 150% of max HP, definitely pretty decent because um, the thing about the max HP is that, I mean, HP scalable, I think let's say you have 10k, right? You have 10k HP, you definitely get like, was it 120%? So it's 120, uh, 12k, right? Then this one will be 15k. Uh, I guess it helps in some extent, but whether you you make her usable, not too sure, man. Okay, so this is actually this, the traits one, right? Okay, so his normal traits, uh, I think we don't need to read it, but let's just take a look at the, the new ones, right? When people inflict you with status effect, Inflict, inflict nullify stagger and defense boost by 50% by 5 seconds. Okay. Um definitely not too bad. Um okay, let's see, let's see. I guess a lot of people do have uh inflicting uh status, right? Like 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 the new big mom, etc. I kind of feel like kind of a little bit of a counter for the new big mom. Not too sure, man. But definitely not too bad. Like, but the issue I'm seeing with this is that uh, if it's a, like a one shot, obviously this skill is kind of useless, right? Then after you KO someone, reduce skill 1 cooldown time by 50%, so this is the counter ability, and then defense by 30% for 20 seconds. Okay, this is definitely not that bad. Like, with the with his stuff being easier to hit, hopefully they um, make the skill 2 even faster, because holy sh... The skill 2 is so slow, man. Then... Uh, skill one also sometimes you might think you are def you are trying to counter, but it might not actually activate. Yeah. So, um, when your HP is more than seventy percent, reduce damage by thirty percent and change down. Okay. So this one is like a mini buff. So definitely not too bad. Um, potentially you get fifty percent damage reduction. Um, yeah. I, I guess it's not too bad. Like the fact that you can get thirty percent damage reduction plus a fifty percent boost means that. You can kind of be a little bit more tanky with Shanks. Interesting, interesting. Then when killing people, increase attack by 25%. Um, so instead of killing 5%, you just need to kill 4%. Which... I think this change is a bit... Eh? Like, like not that... Uh, how to say? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. So, but I, I think this is, okay, not too bad, but it's better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. So, when attacking attackers, increase damage step by 30% and reduce Q1 time cooldown by what 3%. Okay, so this is an additional trick. Oh, no. Yeah, it does have a little bit more Q1 cooldown time. Okay, I guess they're trying to make Shanks a little bit more tanky and more countering. I kind of feel like they're making me into a tank, guys. <laughs> Then when your HP is more than 30%, reduce crit damage received by 30% and 1 HP will okay. okay. Interesting. When HP is more than 30%, reduce crit damage. Okay, that is very nice by the way. Uh, yes, uh, I feel like they just made him tankier. Okay, what about Shanks? Uh, what about uh, Blackbeard guys? Blackbeard, uh, when attacking people with power characters... Whoa! Okay, okay, so he gets kind of like an overall buff against power user, man. Um, not pretty good, pretty good. I'll say 20% more is pretty good. Like, uh, obviously, against non-power users, it's not that amazing. But still, hey, we take those, we take those. Okay, when you're down, um, boost, HP, boost attack by 30% and um, recover HP. So you get extra HP recovery. How useful is that? Um... Definitely not that bad, not too bad, not too bad. But the fact about white, uh, Blackbeard, if you guys don't know, is that he's more of like meaty, right? He used to be very meaty. It's not because he has a lot of damage reduction. It's because he's very, he's quite meaty. But um, I wouldn't say this is super huge because of how um, a lot of characters have like one shot like ability. If you fight against Snake Man, um, pretty much you might die before you even get down in the first place. So the 15% is not 
super amazing. But hey, we take those. Then when you KO someone, reduce Q1 time by 30% and oh my god, oh, this is so nice. I love this. I love this. Like, um, any we take any Q cooldown reduction when you KO, man. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, oh my god, I, I'm going to take like 30 minutes for this video. But hey, whatever, man. Um, definitely, you want to see, just go for it. But yeah. Um, Royal Wedding Sanji. When ally of uh, T is KO'd, uh, boost attack by 20%, 30% for 20 seconds. Hey, very nice, very nice. I take it, I take it. That's a very nice uh, uh, extra 10 seconds, which could have could be pretty good, man. Reduce Q2 cooldown time by 15%. Oh, we take that. We take those, man. Like, I was explaining the other day that with this current meta, it's so er normal to get more than enemies to like get more than 10 plus kills per game. How to say? Like, like, like the time to kill for this game is actually incre uh, decreased. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it takes so much faster to kill people. So um, definitely this skill will be very nice. Then, um, like I can say that, you know, potentially your that skill, your attack boost might be up like quite a lot of time, right? Yeah. Then when using Q1, notify stagger and boost defense by 30% for, hey, that's not too bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, when HP is more than 70%, okay, reduce damage. Okay, some kind of, kind of like a Shanks buff, I say. Like similar to what Shanks uh, do. And when you capture treasure, reduce Q1 cooldown time by 50%. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. Because the skill 1, if I'm not wrong, is the Skywalk ability. So pretty much you get to fly around more, uh, do a lot more uh, non, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Like, yeah. So, um, I kind of like how the direction this game hopefully is going, right? Like, because, like I said, the time to kill for this game is, like, becoming so short, right? Then, um, I can see that they are still, sh they are trying to uh, go back into the, trying to make OPBR uh, actually a uh, objective game instead of just killing, right? Yeah, like, um, honestly, yeah. That's why you have people like Kaido, you have these kind of skills where you try to make them more uh, using, you make them want to use more runners, right? Yeah, that, that's kind of that. Then, okay, Reiju guys, when spawning in acquires defensive shield. So, uh, okay, so this one I believe is like, you know, uh, who's that? Uh, Soba. Um, yeah, Red Suit Sanji. <laughs> then you get you avoid that taking damage and then inflict stagger yeah which is pretty good then when you capture treasure recover 50 percent of the hp honestly you think about it five percent of your max hp is like let's say you have okay in the best case scenario you get 30k hp right quick math quick math <gasps> uh, 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 uh. 20% divided by 20% divided by 20% Oh my god, I can't do math So yeah, if you have 10k HP You'll get 500? No Yeah, 500 shield Honestly, not a lot man You can only tank like one Okay, I guess you can tank one skill Okay, the thing about this skill is right Is uh, Yeah, yeah I'll say the good thing about this uh, shield is that Even if you have like one sh 1 HP shield left. If I'm not wrong, if a skill hits you, you'll break the shield, but it will not eat into your HP. So, to a certain extent, it's actually not too bad. Yeah. Then, okay, Frankie. When attacked by enemy, 100% chance to increase the attack of C1 by 20%. Okay. Definitely better because, Jesus Christ. Uh, I would say, yeah, this is pretty good. Then, um, it kind of makes him more recovery like because um you now heal up to 20k which is pretty good because um i'll say frankie doing 20k for her his skill one that is max charge is actually pretty quite often yeah so i like they un unlock the limit on his uh, recovery so he becomes more defender like then uh, when you are down reduce skill one cooldown time by 30 percent yeah very very nice so um but yeah, um, I would say against green characters, it's not that bad. You have more of a chance against them. Then, when dealing damage, um, speed reduction by 10% for 20 seconds. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, not too sure what is the Yeah, 20 seconds instead of 10 seconds. So, not too big of a deal, to be honest. 
Then when reducing enemies parameter, reduce skill 1 cooldown time and reduce skill 2 cooldown time by 10%. Uh, pretty decent, pretty decent. Like, yeah. When your team has less treasure secure, increase cooldown uh, treasure recovery amount and boost skill 1 re recovery by 50%. Which is, uh, I think, not too bad. Quality of life kind of like changes. Then, uh, okay, I like the, the next trait, right? You get 10% more damage reduction. So, that is pretty decent, I'll say. Yeah. So, I wouldn't say Mr. Tree got a lot of changes, but it's definitely not too bad, guys. Then, uh, okay, more net. When attacking enemy with normal attack, 5% to inflict freeze for 6 seconds. Uh, she is a defender, then when in treasure area, reduce damage, and then boost skill 2 cooldown reduction speed. I can't remember skill 2 is the skill, the, the shield like ability or not. Then when dealing damage 5 times in 10 seconds, boost defense by 30% for 10 seconds, and reduce skill 1 cooldown time by 15 seconds. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Then... Okay, he does. She does get damage. Uh, attack re um, removal. So that's very nice. I think. Uh, definitely not too bad. Then okay, last one, guys. Oh my god, I, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've been talking so much, man. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Vinspoke Raju gets attack HP, defense increase. So that is very good, right? So one thing I was concerned about Raju is that I I get that you're giving her so many like you know. Uh, skills out all this right but the issue is that with this type of units the stats will get a little bit outdated like she's been out for quite some time really but i'm i'm curious to see what kind of um stat buff they give for them so um yeah then i think that's it for this video i think oh yeah by the way if you guys don't know the to the the date of the buffs will be 16 tentatively so yeah um can't wait to play them Hopefully, definitely decent now. I think definitely Blackbeard, we shouldn't see too much of a change. Like, in, in, in fact, he's going to get even better. Then, hopefully, Shanks will be usable now. And then, the rest, um, hopefully, they'll be a bit more usable. Then, I think that's it for this video. Um, let me know your thoughts about these changes. Uh, I think I'll be doing the video on the uh, Valentine's later. So, yeah. Uh, stay tuned for that then i think that's it for this video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you want to see more one piece bounty rush content and that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you